Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'll try again. Good morning, everybody. It is good to be with you this morning, to those of you joining us online and to everybody gathered in the church building this morning. Uh, know that you are welcome in this place, that God welcomes us all, however we are feeling, whatever our circumstances. Now, today is obviously a special service, um, and I'm very, very excited for uh, what is going to be my first Christingle uh, in Codsall. Um, oh. And also what's going to happen later, that's very exciting too. Um, it's going to be a fun service where we will be celebrating together. We're joining together to worship God and hopefully have a lot of fun too. If you've never ever been to a Christingle service, then I think you're in for a treat. And if you've been to many Christingle services, do you know what? I think you're in for a treat. Um, <laughs> All of the service, as usual, will be up on the screens today and the screens on the pillars, and you are invited to join in in the words in bold print. And as I've said, everybody is incredibly welcome uh, this morning. And if you have, we all come with different needs. So if there are certain things that you need to do, if you need to move around, please feel free to do that, especially with young children um, and, uh, and, and babies. Underneath the rainbow window at the back of church, there's a space for children to, um, to play around and to, um, there's some colouring activities out there as well. So please use that if you need to. But the service is going to be very interactive, so there will be opportunities to get involved. There will be some great songs for us to sing, and obviously we will be lighting our very special Chris Ingalls um, as the service progresses. Which brings me nicely to our Christingle safety tips. These are very, very important, believe me. Okay, so they're going to be up on the screen for us. And the first one is make sure your grown-up is with you when you're holding your Christingle. Now, if you're a grown-up, find another grown-up. <laughs> Keep each other safe. Um, the second one, make sure any long hair is tied back. We have all seen situations where there's been a funny smell, <laughs> and the person with the Christingle behind you has got a bit too close, so make sure long hair is tied back. Be careful with cocktail sticks. They are sharp. Um, make sure there is plenty of space between you and other people around you. The next one, which is a favourite of mine, because it's exactly what I'd have done when I was a kid, make sure that you hold your Christingle upright and away from your body. Chris Dingles, candles do stay lit when they're upside down, but it makes a mess and it can be painful. So we're not gonna test that out today. Don't move around when your Chris Dingle is lit and never leave your Chris Dingle unattended when it's lit. And finally, the last of our tips, our safety tips, is be careful when blowing out your candle because the hot wax can go very far. So be very, very careful. So now that we've done all of that, and I will remind you before we light our candles, just in case you forget, we're going to join together to begin our service in prayer. So you join in, I invite you to join in the words in bold. Jesus, light of the world, shine in this place. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our hearts. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our lives. Jesus, light of the world, shine in all the earth. Amen. And we're going to join in our first song this morning, which some of you may not know, and kids probably know very, very well from school. It's a song called My Lighthouse, and there are actions, so if you'd like to have a go at the actions, go for it. Um, Roger did say that he's been learning them, but he's not going to do them this time. Uh, but please stand, if you are able, to join together to sing My Lighthouse.
please be seated. I feel like we all need to now. It's great. So during today's service, um, our time together, we will be talking a lot about light and dark. And sometimes when we talk about light and dark, it sounds like we're talking about opposites, uh, particularly linking them to good things and to bad things. But the Bible tells us that this is not the case. In, it's in the darkness that many good things happen in the Bible. So God spoke to Abraham right at the beginning of um, the story in the dark when making him a promise. And God spoke in a small voice to Samuel. And the angels appeared to the shepherds right at that first Christmas while they were in the dark. And when he had completed a special temple for God, King Solomon said that God would dwell in deep darkness. So when we talk about light today, it's not as an opposite to dark. It is because one of the names for Jesus is the light of the world. And this is because Jesus illuminates the world, brightens up the world, magnifies it, so that we can see its beauty even more than we could before. And when we view the world the way that Jesus wants us to view the world, view people the way that Jesus wants us to view people, then we were, we're able to understand it so much better and see in far more detail. It's almost like Jesus is shining a torch on the world for us. And we will see new things that we've never seen before. And as we go through this service, we will find, more about, find out more about Jesus being light of the world. But we now, however, we know, sorry, however, that there are things in the world that aren't good and things that can make us and other people sad. Things like fighting, people not having enough food, or being treated unfairly. And in the Bible, we are told that these things make God sad too and that God wants them to be different. So Roger is now going to come up and share a reading with us from the book of the prophet Isaiah. And it tells us what God wants for the world. The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offering, offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are peoples whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, 
so the Lord God will cause, will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. This is the word of God, of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of the things that we do at our Chris Dingle service is celebrate and raise money for the amazing work of the Children's Society. And there will be an opportunity if you have a, a little candle box with money that you've been saving up to give to the Children's Society to bring that up when we collect our Chris Dingles in a little bit. The Children's Society support children and young people in some of the most difficult places to live in the world. They support children and young people whose lives are incredibly difficult and who without their support would struggle to survive. And the reading that we've just heard reminds us that the world is not as God intends it to be and that it is a place that isn't always fair or kind to everyone. And it's easy to think that bad things are always big things that other people do. But sometimes, even in small ways, we can make bad choices, which can hurt other people. And it's really important that we recognize this and we say sorry for our mistakes. This helps us to learn from those mistakes and make the world a better place. And so before we celebrate with the fun of our Christingles, we're going to spend a few moments considering times when we have said or done things wrong that have upset other people or upset God. And then we have chance to say sorry for these things and to ask God for forgiveness. So we come to God as one from whom no secrets are hidden to ask for forgiveness and peace. And if you would like to, please join in with the prayer that's on the screen or just say amen at the end if you want this to be a prayer for you too. So we say together, loving God, we are sorry for the things we do and say and think which make you sad and for not thinking of others before ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people more and more. Amen. So may the God of love and power forgive you and free you from all your sins. Heal and strengthen you by the Holy Spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, I'm not suggesting that it needs forgiveness, Mark. Oh. Oh. But, <laughs> but we talked about Chris Dingle. Yes. And and you said to me we were going to dress up like Chris Dingles. <laughs> and I've got my orange. I've got a red belt. I've even got my sparkly dog collar on for the oh, tin foil. Oh, oh. I'm not saying you haven't made an effort, Marg, but <laughs> I feel a little bit let down, shall we say. <laughs> you thought Panto had finished. <laughs> the thing is, John, I didn't think we were going to be using the wolves' colours oh. at the beginning. I thought we would, like, get dressed up halfway through. Oh. I obviously, um, I didn't get the memo. Okay. Well. <laughs> I've got to say, John, you, you do look very much like a Chris Dingle. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I think as a curate, you're doing really well. Okay. I mean, I think it's lovely that you're actually listening to me, let alone taking any notice of me. To be, to be honest, I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. But I mean, the thing is, it isn't that I haven't got my outfit. Okay. It's that I haven't got it on right now. Oh. Well, 
I'll tell you what. So you want to go and put it on now? And then we'll carry on, and Roger's going to bring us our gospel reading in a minute. Are you you sure? You'll be all right. I'm only, I'm only going to be a minute. Okay. If he does anything he hasn't ought to do, I need you to tell me when I come back out. <laughs> I don't usually let him have full reign without any supervision. It's a bit... Okay, so okay. I'm going to go... All right. I'm going to go now. Get me orange top on. We'll, I'm gonna... we'll see you in a bit. Well, I'll see you in a bit then. Right. I could do anything now, couldn't I? Right. But I'm going to ask Roger to come up and, um, and share our gospel reading. So if you're able, please stand for our gospel reading. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John and Matthew. Okay. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on a lamp standard. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way... I let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated again. Thank you, Roger. So Jesus said, that he is the light of the world, the one who allows everything to be fully seen, everything to be fully known. And he also said that we should shine like lights in the world too. So this feels like a good moment for us to collect our Christingles. So I'm going to ask our... So, I've lost it now. <laughs> um, what were we doing? I don't know. Okay. I think this is a good time for us to collect our Christingles. <laughs> if we can concentrate on that. Um, and so I'm going to ask our distributors to come to the front and you will be guided um, an aisle at a time. So I'm really worried about those candles. <laughs> you'll be guided an aisle at a time to come up and to carefully take your Christingles back to your pews. And we won't be lighting them yet. That will come in a few minutes. Um, but as we do that, I think Angela's going to, um, to start us coming. So please do come up.
you about this school. Okay, so I think everybody has their Chris Single. Okay, lovely. Well, Marg, I have to say, I have to say, I now feel... I'd like to hear what you've got to say. <laughs> I now feel slightly underdressed, if anything. Oh, I get um, that. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a complete Chris Single yet, so. <laughs> Oh not, dear. not yet. No. Um, <laughs> I've got a feeling there's more to come. <laughs> the feeling is right. Um, would any children, first of all, like to shout out when I ask you what the orange represents on our Chris single? So at the moment, Reverend Marg is, is just an orange. <laughs> have a curate. She thought it would be a good idea to have a curate. So oh, just Honestly, Norris. is the way you said Reverend Mark. I'm thinking, really? <laughs> the, the Reverend. <laughs> Mrs. Okay. Jones, when I was in your class in first year juniors, did you imagine in a million years now? <laughs> so would anybody like to shout out, what does the orange represent on our Chris Single? The world. the world. Brilliant. The whole of the world. And there's something that goes around. I thought I'd done well with a belt, a red belt. There's something that goes around our Chris singles that you've all got. Can you shout out what that is? Oh, yep, a ribbon, a red ribbon. Brilliant. Would you like to come and stand in the middle, Marg? Yeah. Here we go. I've got you a big red ribbon. Would you like to hang on to that side? Oh, other way. That's it, no, no. You're okay. You're okay there. That's it. Oh. I said to him, I'll leave you in charge of the Chris Dingle service okay. this year. 
Never oh. again. Lovely. There you go. There we go. Does anybody know what the red ribbon represents on a Christingle? The love of Christ. It is. It reminds us that God loves the whole world. It is wrapped around <laughs> that orange, that whole world. And of course, red is, is the color that we often associate with love, isn't it? We have red hearts. We have all sorts of things red with love, don't we, Marg? <laughs> She's feeling love at the moment, I can tell. What else do you have on that we said you've got to be particularly careful of? What else do you have? Your cocktail sticks. How many cocktail sticks do you have? Four. four. Do you know what the four cocktail sticks <laughs> represent? Who's got five? Jill. Oh, Jill. <laughs> There's climate, always one, isn't it's there? It's climate change. Climate change. <laughs> climate change. That's the fifth season in our year. Oh, we've given it away. What do the four sticks represent? <laughs> the seasons. And what do they have on? What do you have on your sticks? On your sweets and fruits, and they represent what? Food and the fruits of creation. God's creation. So you could do with. With some sweet, right. <laughs> I gave him one job. I went away on holiday, came back. I've got a plan, he said. <laughs> there you go, Mark. <laughs> there you go. I'd recommend that... Maybe, maybe don't stick him into your suit, maybe, but... Okay, you've got your sweets, <laughs> we've got our orange, we've got our ribbon, we've got our, careful, we've got our sweets. There's something missing. A candle. <laughs> A candle is still missing. Um, before, really? we, before we go there, what does the candle represent? The light, Jesus, we've talked about this, Jesus being the light of the world. You'll be pleased to know, Marg. I'll be back in a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I can't look at you in the eye. Yes. Thank you. There we go. I have yet to remind him that I have an end of year report to write. <coughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> so, if you look, if you can take your eyes away from, from Marg at the moment, if you look at your own Chris Stingle as well as Reverend Marg, we have a <laughs> Our orange, which represents the world. We've got our red ribbon, which represents the love of God going all the way around the world. We've got our four cocktail sticks representing the seasons and then the fruits of God's <coughs> creation. And then finally, we have our candle, which reminds <coughs> us of the love of God, of Jesus <sighs> as light of the world. So, I think why... Maybe you should stand there for a little bit. We've got a song to sing. And we're going to sing about all those different things in a song that you'll recognise the tune to because it's the same tune as Sing Hosanna. Um, and it's called Sing Chris Dingle. So if you're able to, be very careful with your Chris Dingles, please stand as we sing Sing Chris Dingle. And there aren't any actions, fortunately, Mark. So.
please be seated again. And we're going to... <laughs> we're <g> said <laughs> so not you. It's not funny. <clears throat> <laughs> we're going to light our Chris Singles in a moment. Not Marge, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to light our Chris Singles in a moment. <laughs> um, but just a reminder before we do of those safety tips. So make sure you're grown up, whoever you are, you're grown up is with you when you're holding your Chris Singles. Thank you. Make sure any long hair is tied back. Be careful with your cocktail sticks. Make sure there is plenty of space between you and other people. Hold your Chris <laughs> Hold your Chris Singles upright and away from your body. <laughs> Don't move around while your Chris Singles is lit. Never leave a lit Chris Singles unattended and be careful when we blow your candles out. So in a moment, we're going to ask all the children, if you'd like to come to the end of your pews so that we can light your Chris Singles, and then people are going to come around. You stay in your pews for this so that you will have them lit at the end of the pew and then each person can light the person's next to them. You'd love that. Okay, so hopefully everyone has got their, their candles lit. Marg's candle is lit. There we go. <laughs> and we're going, to, we're going to say our prayers while our candle is lit. And I've got one for us to join in with. And you'll know the tune, I should think, because it's the tune of Frere Rajaka. Um, but it goes, it's going to be up on the screen. It goes, light a candle... Light a candle, God is here. Oh, we've got to sing the tune, haven't we? So it goes, light a candle, light a candle. God is here, God is here. Bless all the world's families, bless all the world's family, far and near, far and near. Perfect. Right, now we're going to try and do it in the round. So I'm going to split you in half. Okay, so everybody on this side, you're going to start off. I'll start you off. And then everyone on Mark's side, 
Anything I mean, could happen. Anything. <laughs> we'll start you off when we get to bless all the world's family. You can start. Okay. And shall we do it through twice? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay. Does everyone understand what's going on? No. No, I didn't think so. Right, okay. No, so this side, we're going to start first. So, light a candle, light a candle. God is here, God is here. Light a candle, light a candle. God is here, God is here. Bless all the world families, guess all the world families. Far and near, far and near. Light a candle, light a candle. God is near, God is near. Bless all the world families, bless all the world families. Far and near, far and near. Brilliant, lovely. And we're going to, if you'd like to join in with this prayer that is on the screen as well. Lord Jesus, light, light of, of the, the world. world. As, as I, I hold this Christ single and think about your great love for me, me help me to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. Now, in a moment, we're going to blow out our candles. And as we do, I want us to remember that we can shine in the world too and that sharing love and kindness with other people is part of that. But also that we can meet with God in the darkness as well, both here in church, at home, and wherever we want to talk to God. And so as we blow out our candles, in a moment we're going to say the Lord's Prayer, and I think I've got a little helper coming to, to help say it with me. So is Eva going to come up? Possibly. You're going to come and hold my hand. She's coming. Yes. She's shy. Not going to do it. Next time, next time. But let's join to say the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll blow our candles out at the end of that. So, Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Right, so blow out your candles very carefully. <laughs> And now we're going to sing our final song. And I might let Marg put down a sweet. You think? Oh. Oh. Um, we're going to sing our final song, which will remind us that we're going to take this light out into the world. And it's this little light of mine. So if you are able, please stand to sing Collection. this little light of mine. Collection. Collection. And if you. Our collection will be taken during this as well, sorry.
wonderful. Can I ask you to be seated for a moment, please? Because I've got a very serious task now. <laughs> I've got the reading of the bands of marriage. I bet if these couples are here today, I bet you never thought you'd get your vicar standing looking like an orange, reading the bands of marriage. I publish the bands of marriage between Amber Richard, single of the parish of St. Mary's in Crewe, and James Christopher Telford, single also of St. Mary's in Crewe. John Christopher Webb, single of the parish of Codsall, and Rachel Joanne Trevenna, single also of the parish of Codsall. This is for the first time of asking if there is any reason in law why these couples may not marry, you are to declare it now. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of love. And we pray now for this couple as they prepare for their, the rest of their lives together. Bless them. Hold them tight, Lord, and give them times of peace and quietness in and amidst the chaos and craziness of preparing for the wedding day. Amen. We're going to have our collection. John, can you bring the collection? Yeah, just, you know, just, I don't think I'm appropriately dressed to collect, get the collection. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your generosity to us. We pray now that this may grow your kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And now we have an orange telling you about the notices. <laughs> Coffee, cake and chat is tomorrow from 10 till 12 and all are very welcome to that. Inquiries is on Monday the 5th of February, private prayer on Wednesday afternoons from 2 to 3. I am asking for Palm Crosses to be returned back ready for our Ash Wednesday service. And if you wanted to do anything romantic on Valentine's Day, please join me for the Ash Wednesday service. It saved my husband a fortune. <laughs> It's a very powerful service. It marks the beginning of our Lenten season. But it's just so important. It's, as I say, it's a very powerful service, full of symbolism. And um, I hope that as many of you as can will come. It's at 7 o'clock here in church. There's information there about ch churchyard benches and information about anyone who would like to help towards the cost as we move towards the extended area of the churchyard. We would like to place two benches uh, in that area. Uh, we've dedicated two areas for that to happen. Um, and it would just be nice if we could do as we have done in the old churchyard um, and make pe give people a place to sit and reflect. Um, the rest of the information is on there. The churchyard tidy up is the Tuesday before Mothering Sunday. I haven't got the dates available to me, but it's the Tuesday before the 6th, 5th or 6th. It's the Tuesday, I know it is. So just be aware when people are asking you about that, there will be a tidy up in preparation for Mothering Sunday, uh, things to go on there, and of course Easter. Anything that is particularly Valentine's will remain for a little longer, obviously. But it, the tide up is the Tuesday before um, Mothering Sunday. The go-to place continues, of course, on Wednesday mornings. 
continue to say thank you for all who support the food bank. And just a reminder that um, we realise that cash now is not king and that people are paying for things in other ways. So we do have um, a, a card machine for any who would like to. However, if she thought she was getting away with it, she's not. So Brenda on our AV team, it's her birthday today. Hooray! So can we sing happy birthdays? Is it anyone else's birthday? Nobody's owning up to it. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Three years in theology college, 30 years in ministry, and this is the first time I've done a blessing dressed as an orange. <laughs> May God give you comfort and peace, light and joy, hope and love. And may the blessing of God, the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore. Amen. Go in the light and peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.